Thank you, Carl. Fellow Toastmasters and guests. Game warden Mark DeSalvo and I drove into a bear camp on the third week of the bear season. The place was a mess. It looked like a garbage dump. And when we exited our truck, we were treated to a cacophony from 30 vicious hound dogs wanting to tear us apart. <laughs> Just then the screen door to the cabin burst open. In fact, it came right off its hinges. And walking towards us was a brood of a man. He wasn't there to rejoice in our presence. <laughs> And he hollered at the dog, shut up, you mangy mutt! Then he saw us and he stopped. He said, well, well, if it ain't my favorite Nazis. <laughs> Several more bear hunters now burst out of the cabin, and they surrounded DeSalvo, Brutus, and myself. And the next thing I knew, Brutus was right up in my face. It was more like... Right up in my face. <laughs> and I thought to myself, what NFL football team let this guy go? <laughs> His eyes were red and swollen, and they twitched to the corners simultaneously. <laughs> His hair was wild and filthy, and something crawled out of it and went right down his neck. <laughs> he didn't notice. <laughs> His mouth and his teeth were brownish yellow, probably from eating way too many Slim Jims and beef jerky and from chewing tobacco. Look up the word halitosis in the dictionary. <laughs> You'll see a picture of this man's repugnant mouth there. <laughs> then he warned us, you know, if an I was you boys, I'd geets off my property before someone geets hurt. I could see my partner, Mark's hands, coming out of that police interview position, heading towards options on his duty belt. <laughs> and I thought, i got to do something quick. So I reached up with my index finger and started tapping Brutus on his bony chest. And I tap danced him out of the middle of that circle. And I told him, sit your... I'm going to switch out a naughty word here. But down and keep your mouth shut. That's what I told him already. Right. <laughs> and once the beast was grounded, magic happened in that camp. You see, all the rest of his soldiers followed suit. And they hit the ground in a unified flump. They kind of pretended like they weren't part of the deal. Well, I knew at that point that we had the camp, at least momentarily. So Mark and I wrote out two tickets for bear hunting violations. And then we slowly made our way back to the truck. Jumped in quickly and rolled up the windows and locked the doors. We had just left bear camp when a desperate call came over the radio. The message was garbled because we were way back in the woods. So I asked for a spelling. B A R E. C-A-M-P. <laughs> I thought, uh-oh, we need to go to another bear camp? I said, well, would you repeat that first word again, please? B-A-R-E. I looked over at Mark and he said, oh, don't worry, she's got it spelled right. You see, there's a nudist colony about four <laughs> miles from here. Over on Lake Tomahawk. The locals call it bear camp. Must be something there she wants us to check out. I said, indeed. <laughs> what are we waiting for? And it was red lights and siren all the way. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tolstoy. <laughs> <laughs>
The only recommendation I might have is that it seemed a little bit sporadic at times. Like you might be sort of pacing, but then also doing your gestures at the same time. So if you had more specific places to go for certain parts of the story and stay still in between those, then I think it might be a little bit easier to follow and less sporadic. Also, you, I think we're a little short on your time. And one way that you could help alleviate that issue is to start in the beginning, explain a little bit more about what a bear camp is, even just a sentence. We could, I, don't, I thought maybe it's like a camp of bears. <laughs> a bear hunter, so I'm not sure. So maybe a little bit more explanation in the beginning could help bring us into the story a little bit more and fill in your time in your space. And then finally, my, my, final con my final recommendation is for the conclusion. I, I loved how you left it, but I think that it, it did seem a little abrupt. So I think near the end, maybe slow down your pace a little bit and sort of kind of drag it towards the end. Like, okay. we're, we're getting towards the end. This is going to be the last part. It just it had the same intensity throughout. And I think if you change the level of intensity, it would really signify the closing of the speech. Otherwise, it was fabulous. Difficult to evaluate because you're a very good speaker and it was, it was very entertaining. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.